Right, we're making a drawstring bag. We need 120 inches, that's three meters of power cord. 16 crisp packets of your choice. And some plastic. First off, we fuse our packets. into rows of four. So it's going to be four times four, so 16. go up to you you can do all different colors if you like or you could have a silver bag so there's your that's your grid and you could do it with 20 as well just pack it if you wanted to or you could do it take four of 16 what's that adds Oh, 4, 16, 12. <laughs> so you could do a smaller one, 12, <laughs> if you wanted. I found the 12 one a little bit too small, to be honest. Um, the one we originally did at the beginning was 12, yeah. and it was a little bit too small to get everything in. So 16 packets. Like that. start in the middle so they don't slide the other way there we go so that's a nice grid well, four times four and then we're gonna double side it now this is your it's gonna go like this all right it's gonna go that way and we're gonna do it inside out and then we're gonna turn it in so this is the inside so we basically just want to leave a little bit for the gusset at the bottom and a little bit of the overhang. So this is your top and this is your this is your top and this is your bottom, okay? So we're going to coat it in plastic. So these sides don't need that much plastic, to be honest. So let's just put it over like that. This is going to be the top. So we do about a handful like that. So then we can over go like that to put the paracord in. So we'll just fuse this bit on first. Slightly fuse it on. Okay, and we'll turn it over to the other side. Just fuse about four fingers at the bottom 
and four fingers at the top, say. Uh, not worry about the sides too much. You can fuse right up to the edge of the crisp packet. Uh, four fingers at the top, four fingers at the bottom. too crazy on that bit there make sure it's all nice and fused on this side now we're going to trim, trim the sides off I get, get rid of the excess plastic on your sides a bit like a survival sheet on the sides there look you see that This is going to be the top, okay? I'm going to turn it over so your inside is on your outside at the moment. A bit more fusing just there. Um, and this is going to then go over like that. So that's quite a lot of plastic to fuse. So I would probably make sure that you've got enough that you haven't fused, if you get my meaning, so that it isn't over fused, because as you know, if you overfuse plastic too much, it when then won't fuse too much again. So like that. Then you put a power cord and you put it in to the section. Can you see that? Like that. This is your inside of your bag. And we're going to go over like this. If you forget to put your power cord in, you could get a, a long, same knitting needle maybe and um, thread it on around the end bit and then insert it but it it takes a lot of you know it can be a bit time consuming so we've got the paracord in there and we're just fusing so we've still got a little bit of a gap we don't want to go right the way up to the top so we've still got a bit of gap here so it can move about so we're just going to fuse up to that little gap all that bit there Right the way along. Like that. So now your power cord is inside your bag. Okay. Now you might find that it's a good idea at this stage just to trim up these end bits here because when you put your bag together, it sometimes gets in the way. So let's just trim up. This bit here, just missing your paracord a bit. Like that. And the other end maybe, trim up that bit a bit. Good 
like that. Just like that. Just like that. So remembering this is your inside, I'm then folding it in half. Okay, don't worry, we've got loads of plastic at the bottom at the moment, that's gonna go in a minute. And you've got your power cord out here, nice. And we're gonna fuse, don't, don't come in too much, just the edge of your crisp packet. You can start at the top or the bottom, as long as it's sort of lined up nicely. Just don't go too far in, because then if you do, you'll have more of a narrow bag. That's it, just like that. <laughs> and then we're gonna turn it over and fuse the other side. Again, don't wanna go over it too much. There we go. And that's your sides. Nice and fused, okay. Then the bottom. Now you just want to make like a little V coming from your joined end going this way. So here into sort of a point like that. Let's do it the other way so you can see a bit better. So it's going to come from here up like that. So it doesn't have to have too much of a saggy bottom. It just gives it a little bit of a gusset. but doesn't break it, just like that. All right, so can you see it's just a little bit here. So about two fingers sort of guss it right the way long, turn it round and fuse it again the other side. And then we're gonna trim that up, just like that. All right, let that cool for a second. Unplug your iron. Um, we can get the... Do we know where that is, Ads? What do you want, Daniel? The eyelet machine. Yeah, Right, so when that's cooled down a bit, we then turn the bag inside out. And we have a lovely Quavers bag. That. Have a little feel just in case you need to turn it back in the other way. Check whether or not. Thank you, guys. There we go. Then, so you've got the drawstring bag like that. So now we just need to go in the corner here. Okay. And push your eyelet in. So, about here. go get your eyelet got to remember which way it goes round I always get this wrong big bit at the bottom big bit at the bottom and then your little bit that goes upwards as it adds yeah. goes on the top going up like a little saucer Push down. Oh. Beautiful. Then you just tie the two cords, even sort of Stevens really, on your two cords, so you might have to fiddle about with it a bit. There you go, and pop it through your hole. And I double tie them because I find this stuff can be a bit slippy and it can untie if you just do it once. So I do it twice. And there you go. 16 packets. Drawstring bag. Yay. All right. Beautiful. Take care.